Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Bought by Magic Readers. This day I am here with a beautiful and colourful uh, granny square titled Marianne Square. So uh, this is worked with three colours and three contrasting colours which blend into each other. And uh, let us go into the video without much delay and learn how to make this square. Make a magic frame, secure it. And in the magic ring, place three doubles first. So my first one is going to be a twisted double. Otherwise, you can start with chain three. Next, repeat chain three, three doubles, three more times. So I shall meet you when I complete. I have repeated the set of instructions thrice, chain 3, 3 DC thrice. Now instead of chain 3 and joining, chain 1 and make a half double in the third chain of the 3 chains or the very first stitch. Now chain 3 and begin or make a standing twisted double, chain 5. A double in the next corner, chain 5, a double again in the same corner. So this is the instruction repeat from one corner, chain 5, double in the next, chain 5, double in the next. Again chain 5, make the corner. Continue. I shall meet you where I began here. I have come to the end of this round here. I have chain 5. Now place the double in the first corner to complete that corner. Now chain 5. Slip stitch to the third chain of the first 3 chain or the first stitch whichever you have made and fasten off. So in the next round we are going to change the color. Is little bias here. Yeah. So I shall meet you with the next round with a different color. With right side facing, slip stitch and join to any one corner. come off. That's not the way to do. This is the way to do it. Now it's fixed. Now make two doubles. We need to make three doubles. Instead make two doubles or chain three and a double whichever is convenient to you. So I'll make two double. When I come back I'll finish off with a double here and we need to fasten off. Two doubles, chain two, three doubles. This is actually three fourths corner, ninety percent corner done. This is the first corner, and ninety percent corner I have done. Chain two, and under the next chain five space, work five doubles. So in the sides we have 5 doubles, in the corners we have 3 doubles, chain 2, 3 doubles. So continue this pattern all around the work. I shall meet you where I began. So let me complete this corner and show you. So here we are. So in the sides we are having five doubles in five in chain five space. In the corner chain five space we are having three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Continue all around. I shall meet you where I began. Yeah, between the corners and the chain five and the, the five doubles you have chain two spaces. Where in the beginning as well as the end. 
we work the five doubles here we forgot to place two chains so place two chains and work the corner sorry for the lapse chain 2 and then go over to the next uh, block where you have to place 5 doubles ok I have come to the last part here last end of the thing I have placed I have made 2 doubles now I need, sorry 2 chains I need to make a double here to complete the 3 doubles and cut the yarn and do the invisible join So that is I started with two DCs instead of the first one. So this is a better way of doing things. Yeah. Then I will hide this yarn behind. For the next round I shall be back with yet another color. Take the third color, slip stitch and join in any corner. And each corner again has three DC chain to three DC. But I am going to start with my two doubles chain three two doubles and finish off with a double here so one more double chain three chain two sorry and three doubles chain 1, skip the next 3 DC and place 2 doubles in the next chain 2 space. One double each on each of the next 5 doubles. Two doubles in the next chain to space. Chain one and go over to the next chain space. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So place these stitches in on each side I shall get back when I come complete here. I have come to the end here, I have, play, I have chained one, I am going to place my DC and slip stitch join to the very first stitch that I made in the beginning of the round. Now I am going to remove my hook. This is the top of my stitch. And if you have done chain 3, you will have to do it under the third chain of the chain 3. Now, this round, next round, it's a single crochet round. So, we begin, we place one single crochet on all the stitches, each of the stitches. And on the chain 1 space also, we are placing one single crochet. And when we come to the corner, it is two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. So in the, this is a slip stitch we, <coughs> we have joined and ended the round here. Make a single crochet, the beginning single crochet in the very same stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. So when we come back, we end here. This is a corner, two singles, chain two, two singles. Now one single each or next three, then one single under chain one space, one single on each of them, one single in the chain space, 
one single on each of them again the corner so continue the single crochet stitch pattern all around i shall meet you at the beginning so we've come to the end of the round here now i'm going to i need to fasten this off so to cut the yarn and do the invisible join and fasten off So this is my first single crochet. I can also take it from here and fasten off. It's not going to make any difference at all. And tighten it. I need not make any other this. It will become and, and tightly pull it. If you do it from the first, that's it. And if you do it from the if you do it from the second, it will be neater. So take the yarn from the second stitch and you will be making over this first stitch here. So it will appear neater. So this is the right way of doing it. Yes. Now I will hide it behind. It's time to work with the first color the last round. So I shall be back with the first color for the last round. With right side facing you can join this yarn at any stitch that you like because the corners we are going to do in the same way so I, I may join somewhere in the middle here and because this is a one round only we are going to end it up here so it's not going to be visible okay I slip stitched and it's a double crochet row make a double crochet or chain 3 whichever is convenient to you I have made my double crochet and place one double crochet each on each of the stitches till the corner and when you come to the corner you place two double crochets chain three two double crochets so in the previous round we did two sc chain two two sc in the chain two space in the corner you will be making two doubles chain three two doubles so place one double till the corner i shall meet you in the corner so i have come to the corner here i am going to place two doubles chain two two doubles So meanwhile I have hidden the yarns round after round so that it makes my work easier otherwise at the end of the work it will be too many yarns to be hidden okay now place one double crochet each on each of the stitches come to the corner place the corner work on each side in the similar stitch pattern I shall meet you where I began here okay, we have come to the end of this Marian square now I am going to do my invisible join and complete it so here we go this is the second stitch and this is the last stitch we did so from here behind the back loop insert the hook pick up the loop and so actually we are working over the stitch we are making a V over the stitch that will become invisible Hence the join will become invisible and this yarn I will tuck it inside afterwards. Here we go. This is the Marian square. It's a beautiful square work with three colors and it enhances the beauty of round after round. And you can make it to any larger size you require. Only thing you need to repeat these rounds. One, two and one and two. And final round will be this. So SC round and the DC round will be the final round. And these two rounds you can repeat for as many times as you like thank you friends for watching this video hope you enjoyed this <coughs> pattern i shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video do subscribe to magic needles channel and please click on the bell icon so that you're notified of the videos that we upload every day i shall um, i shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video bye bye for now have a great day friends